Hello, Cindy, how are you today? Hello, I'm good, how are you? I'm just fine, thanks for asking. How was your day at work today, Cindy? Um, a little busy, but it was good. Okay, I'm glad to hear that, very good. Good evening, Guadalupe, how are you today? Good evening, teacher. I'm good. Thank you. And you? I'm fine. Thanks for asking. How was your day at work today? It was really nice. Oh, it was really nice. Okay. Yeah. We are very glad to hear that. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. By the way, have you been working on your platform? Yes, I am. Okay, what about you, Cindy? Did you finish section one? Uh, yeah, section two, section three, and the midterm. And the midterm two. Excellent, Cindy. Very good. <laughs> and if you have any questions on the way, I'll be delighted to answer those questions. Okay? Good afternoon. Okay. Uh, Carla, how are you today? Good afternoon, Carla. Good evening, Carla. How are you today? Hi. Hi. Good evening. Sorry, I have some issues with my computer. Okay. Thank you. Go, go ahead. Fix those issues. Mario, good evening. How are you today? Good evening, teacher. I'm fine. What about you? I'm fine. Thanks for asking. How was your day at work today? Mm, a little bit busy. A little bit busy. Okay, good. And Carla, how was your day at work today? It was very busy. Very uh, busy. Okay. okay, so now the days are becoming more uh, busier and busier, right? Okay, very good. Good evening, Maria. How are you today? Hello, teacher. How are you? I'm fine. Thanks for asking. How was your day at work today? Very good, teacher. Very good. Okay, excellent. Uh, good evening. Good evening. Antonio, how are you today? I'm fine. Thanks for asking you, teacher. I am fine. Thanks for asking, too. How was yeah. your day at work? Today, it was stressful for me because okay. I have a lot, of, uh, a lot of work. In this moment, I, I am... I am, um, I suppose I am working. <laughs> okay, so let's, uh, let's do what we have to do and, uh, and uh, let's work on the platform whenever we have time, okay? Good yes, evening. But yes. In, in, I, I, I have a lot of uh, questions <laughs> about the platform because I, I watched uh, videos and others of quantity, but I, I, took a, a capture and I will share with you. Okay, no problem. I will be delighted to answer your questions, okay? okay. And that's Are the way, okay? that's what you're supposed to do, right? Go Thanks. to the platform, watch the video, do the exercises. There will be doubts, there will be confusing things that uh, we don't understand. We clear them out here, okay? Good. Okay, very good. Eleonora, good, uh, good evening. How are you today? Good evening, teacher. Good, teacher. And you? I'm fine. Thanks for asking. How was your day at work today? Um, I'm fine. I, I very hard. Okay, very good. Now, mm -hmm. uh, all of you have worked on the platform, right? Remember? Right that uh, for today, we were supposed to finish section one, okay? And if there, were, if there were questions, we were going to clear them. Because uh, I think by tomorrow, we will be finishing section two. So you will okay. be able to finish section two on the platform during the weekend. So, and do the midterm, no, sorry. And uh, during the weekend and uh, next week, we are going to work on section three. 
So you can work on the platform on section three and do the midterm. And by the end of week two, we already have finished what we need. Good evening, Tatiana, how are you? Hello, I am fine. Okay, very good. And how was your day at work today? Yes. Okay, very good. So let me just give you a reminder. This is just a reminder, okay? Remember, uh, okay, can you see the screen? Yes. Yes. Yes, okay, yes, so by, we are ending tomorrow week one, and we have, and uh, by the end of week one and week two, we have to do sections one, two, three, and the midterm. So I was, thinking, I was planning that all of you probably can finish section one, okay, today. And uh, section two by the end of the week. So for next week, we will have pending only section three and you can do the, you can do the midterm test easily, okay? And we will be ending week two with the scheduled uh, task that they request in the platform, right? And on week three, we do section four, and on week four, we do section five and the final test, okay? So that is to be on a schedule. Is that clear? Yes. Oh, is that clear? Clear, yes. teacher. Okay, very good, very good. Now, uh, uh, first of all, uh, I want... Uh, uh, Antonio, let's clear your questions. What questions do you want? Ah, before let's uh, say hello to Lily. How are you, Lily, today? Hello, teacher. I'm fine. Thank you. Okay. How was your day at work today? <laughs> How was your day at work today? How was your day at work? Very busy, very nice, uh, relaxed, funny. Okay, so Antonio, what questions do you have? Yes, um, I confuse in an advert of quantity, right? For example, uh, I share this moment in the chat, a picture. Okay, can you share us the picture, please? Yes, of course. You can see the picture in the chat? No, we cannot see the picture yet. Okay, give me one moment. I'll show one. Thank you, sir. Okay. Can you see my capture? Yeah, okay. Let me let me try to capture it from here. Okay, I have it right here. Okay. Ah, common question with how much? Yes. Okay, but okay, now uh this is but this is not material for for uh intermediate one, uh, uh Antonio. Yes, uh, this is a video to that one, expression of quantity. Ah, expressions of quantity. Okay, that's what I'm going to explain right now. Okay. Uh, okay, good. 
if you want to explain in, in the finish the class, maybe I will ask. Okay, that that will be okay. That will be okay. Uh, good evening, Linda. How are you today? Good evening, teacher. Fine, thank you, teacher. Okay, how was your day at work today? No, in my home. Ah, at home. Okay, very good. Good evening, Brenda. How are you today? Good evening. Fine. Okay, how was your day at work? Very busy. Very busy. Okay, very good. Now, I was explaining everybody that I hope, I hope that by today, you go to the platform and today you finish section number one. Okay. Okay. With today and with tomorrow's class, you will be able to finish section number two. So by the end of the week, you will have finished section one, section two, completed, okay? So next week, we are going to do section three and the midterm test, right? By the end of next week, we will have section one, two, three, and the midterm test completed. Okay, that is what we are trying to do. So I hope that you go to the platform and start working, okay? By the end of this week, section one and section two completed, okay? So let me share with you. I send you a document, right? I send you a document. I don't know if you have it. Okay, so yes. it's this. Okay, count and non-count nouns. Okay, what is a non-count? What is a count noun definition? It's a count noun that has a plural form. A non-count noun doesn't have a plural form. Okay, what is the difference between count and non-count nouns? What is a count noun? A count noun is a person, is a place, or is a thing that can have a singular or plural form. Most nouns have a singular and plural form, typically by adding S to a noun. The plural form is made, a count, a non, a count noun can be counted. So a count noun is something that you can count. For example, books. Can you count books? Yes. Yeah. yes. One, yes. two, three, four, five yes. books. Can you count your fingers? Yes. yes. Okay. So one, two, three, four, five fingers. So count noun has, plur has singular and plural form. Okay. And most of the nouns, most of the count nouns, the plural is made by adding S to the singular noun. For example, girl, girls, town, towns, banana, bananas. Okay? Is that clear okay. with a count noun? It's clear. Yeah. It has a singular and it has a plural form. And count nouns can be counted, right? You can count them. Now, on the other hand, we have non-count nouns, also called mass nouns. What is a non-count noun? It's a noun count. It's a non-count noun. It's a person or it's a place or it's a thing that do not have plural form. It has only one form. And in a sense, a non-count noun cannot be counted. And here we have a couple of examples. For example, courage. Do you understand what is the meaning of courage? Yes. No. Valor, courage. Can you count the courage? No. no. You cannot count courage. And courage does not take plural form. Whether. The weather, how is the weather right now? You see weather doesn't take a plural form and weather cannot be counted. You cannot count the weather. 
frustration. Can you count the frustration? No. no. And no. it doesn't have a plural. Okay? Now, example of count nouns. Count nouns, sometimes called countable nouns, have both singular and plural forms. Typically, a noun is made plural by adding an S to the end of the word. For example, friend, friends. Museum, museums. Rock, rocks. Office, offices. So a count noun is a noun that has a singular form and a plural form. And the plural form, the most, the most common plural form is adding S, okay? However, there are some exceptions that don't follow this rule. For example, we have some irregular plurals. Child, no. the plural is children. City, the plural is cities. So you drop the Y and add I-E-S. For example, a I'm trying to think of another noun that uh, Daisy, People. Daisies. Okay. So generally, if a word ends in Y, making it plural involves dropping the Y, like in this case, and adding I E S. Okay. And there are some irregular plural, <clears throat> such as child, children, woman. Women, man, men. Okay? okay. So let's see some example of non count nouns. Non count nouns, sometimes called uncountable nouns, do not have a plural form. Okay? So, for example, non count nouns that are abstractions, the information is abstract. Bravery, do you understand what is the meaning of bravery? Valentia. Valentia. So that is a non count noun. You cannot count. Independence is a non count noun. You cannot count independence. Now, some non count nouns that are activity running. So running, you cannot count. Music, you cannot count. Work, you cannot count. Other non count nouns are like food. Like, for example, turkey, a piece of turkey, you cannot count. Lasagna, you cannot count. Butter, you cannot count. Now, what about gases? Okay, steam, vapor, you cannot count. Oxygen, you cannot count. Smoke, you cannot count. And other items that are similar, furniture, Equipment, luggage, okay, some liquids, milk, water, oil, you cannot count, okay? Is that clear with count uh, nouns and non count nouns? Okay, now yes. let's see, let's try to practice, okay? Exercises, what is correct? I like some more information or information on this product? Information. information. Information because this is a non count noun. And non count nouns don't take S, don't take plural. Now, the next one. Is there much pollution or many pollution in your country? Okay. Much. And we say Vaya la música, por favor. Many. Many. Okay, and thank you. We say that pollution is non-count noun. So with non-count nouns, we use much. much. And with count nouns, we use many. Many. Many students. Many cars. Muchos estudiantes, muchos carros, but much pollution, much patience, much milk, 
Is that clear? So March with non counts and many with count nouns. So is there much pollution in your country? Very good. The next one, what is the next one? I don't have any bag with me. Okay, no, any bag is, oh, yeah. is cow noun. So you have to say baggage, okay? Baggage is equipaje. So I don't have any baggage with me. Now, in this case, it will be, I don't have any bags in plural. No tengo maletas. maletas. But in this case, it's baggage. Okay, let's keep practicing. Number four. Let's see, Brenda, what is number number four? There is always heavy traffic in the morning. Traffic in the morning. We cannot count traffic, so traffic cannot take plural. Very good. Maria Reyes, what is number five? How people. Many people, can you count people? How many people do you live with? Exactly. How many people do you live with? Mario Marenko, number, number six. Can I borrow some money? Uh, some money? Can I borrow some money? Can I use many? No, because money is not countable. And I'm going to say this in Spanish. El dinero no se puede contar. Lo que se puede contar son las monedas, son los billetes. Okay? But money is considered non-count. Okay? So I cannot use many. I cannot use a ah, because this is for singular. Can I borrow some money? Very good. Okay, now next, Antonio. We didn't see. We didn't see many was life on the trip. Now, can you count the wildlife? Do you um, understand what is wildlife? And vida vida salvaje. Salvaje. Can you ah, count okay. the wildlife? No. No. So you have to say. We didn't Maybe. see much wildlife. much wildlife. Correct. Very good. Tatiana, number eight. Okay. Um, where is the snow? A snow, nieve. Can you count the snow? No. Aha. Uh -huh. So a few is used for counting. There is a few, there is a few now on the mountain. No, because this is used with count nouns. None is used with count nouns and many is used with count nouns. So the correct answer is, there is? There is no snow on the mountain. Uh -huh. There is no snow on the mountain. Okay, next, Eleonora. The band has written some great music. Music, correct, very good. Number 10, Irving. Uh, the news look important. The news look important. And look, the news is always singular, okay? It never, even though it has an S, is considered always singular, okay? Yes. Number 11, Guadalupe. Hello, Guadalupe. Carla, can you help Guadalupe? Yes. Uh, can you can you give me a hand with my baggage? No, because is the see baggage equipaje is not considered is a non count noun, so it doesn't take plural. So this is incorrect. Localage 
doesn't exist. So the correct one is luggage. That is also equipaje. So can you give me a hand with my luggage? And this is a known count now. Lily, number 12. How many people were at the meeting? Okay, people is plural. How many persons? No. Person is singular. People is plural. So we don't need to add S to peoples. People is already plural. So how many? People. People. Uh -huh. people were at the meeting. How many people were at the meeting? Okay. Uh, Maria Hernandez, number 13. Uh, Moses? No. Okay. E My. Everybody think that the plural of mouse is mouses, but the plural is? Mice. 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 This is irregular plural. So we saw again, Maria. We saw three mice in the attic. In the attic. Do you know, do you know what is the attic? Yes. Okay. Uh, let me show you. Let me show you real quick. The part of up. <clears throat> okay. In the United States. In the United States, the people build the houses like this. And you see, on the top, on the top of the house, on the top of the house, this is the attic. This is the attic. Yes. Can you see? That is on the top of the house. On the top of the house. So that is space right there on the top. That is the attic. Is that clear? Yes. Yes? Yes, teacher. Okay, very good, very good. So now let's go back. Let's go back to the exercise. Okay, so there, uh huh. So there, we saw three mice in the attic. Okay, number 14. Do you know what is rubbish? Garbage. There are, there are a lot of very good. Rubbish. Okay, garbage. Okay, very good. So go ahead. Uh, who is next? Ivan Herrera. <laughs> Ivan, what is the next one, Ivan? There is a lot of rubbish in the kitchen. Uh -huh. I cannot say there are because rubbish is non count. So very good, Ivan. Okay. Uh, Linda. Linda Tabora. Number 15. Okay. My trousers trouser have holes in them. Okay. Now, do you know what are trousers? No. Trousers are dress pants, okay? What? Dress pants. What does what mean, is, teacher? Dress pants. What is this dress pants? Dress pants, for example, for men? Oh my God, what? Ah, like a pijama. I know, I know. You know? I okay. understand, yes. Yes, okay. thank you, I understand. Uh, trousers. Trousers, dress pants. Okay. Ah, okay. I understand. Yeah, yeah. Those are trousers. <laughs> now, even though, even though we say one pantalon, but it's considered always plural. Even if it is one pantalon, when we say trousers, is plural. One, one. Do you understand? Yes. So this is trousers, plural. This is another pair of trousers. 
Is that clear? Trousers, pants, boots, always consider plural. Okay? Okay. Okay, so the next one will be, so my trousers have holes. Because it's plural, I have to use have. If there had been singular, I'm going to use has. And if I have a non-count noun, it has to be used with a singular form. Okay, Lily, do the next one. 16, please. The money is on the table. Because the money is non-count, singular form. The money is on the table. Very good. Carla Rodriguez, number 17. The police are, are interviewing all the people. I did. Okay, now, if I say the police, I consider the police the police department. So the police department is uncountable. So I have to say the police is interviewing. Yes. Even though there could be two or three police officers who are interviewing. Do you understand? Yes. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. But the police, because it's one institution, is singular. So the police is interviewing all the people. Okay. Do you know what are sheep? Yes. 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 Me, me. Okay. So those ship, <laughs> and now you see those is plural. So those ship are cute. Are, are cute. Very are good. Cute. Are cute. Uh, Cindy, can you do number 20? No, no. Knowledge of no. English is foreign. Knowledge of English is important. Very good. Okay. 19. So, you miss 19. Ah, I miss 19. Okay. Uh, Brenda, do 19. Uh, my reading glasses is missing. Now, okay. Even uh, though they talk about one pair of glasses, glasses is plural. So my reading glasses. Uh, are missing. And you are. understand what is the meaning of missing? Missing, están perdidos. Lost. My reading okay. glasses are missing. Okay? Are we clear? So glasses is yes, always please. considered plural. So, are. Now, very good. There are some expressions of quantity. Okay? We have two and we have enough, and they indicate a degree or amount in English sentences. Two means more than necessary. So we use two plus an adjective or two plus an adverb. Example, he's driving too fast. So he is driving more than necessary. He is driving more than necessary fast. Is that clear? So two plus adjectives mm -hmm. means yeah. demasiado más el adjetivo. Demasiado rápido, demasiado lento, demasiado frío, demasiado caliente. Okay? So two plus adjectives means demasiado plus the adjective. It's too boring, something like that too. <laughs> uh -huh. He's driving too fast. He's, he's driving demasiado rápido. You are speaking too quickly for me. So you are talking too, too more than necessarily fast for me. He is too old to drive. Él es demasiado viejo para manejar. I'm too hungry to concentrate. Yo estoy demasiado hambriento para concentrarme. Is that clear? So I use yes. two plus adjective or two plus adverb. This is an adverb. And this is, well, this is also an adverb. 
This is an adjective, this is an adjective. Okay, and when we use combine two plus adjective or adverb, we are talking about more than necessary. Now, take a look and be careful with this. We can use enough to say no. the necessary amount. But when we say not enough, we are talking about that is less than the necessary amount. So we use adjective and adverb plus enough. Here we use two plus adjective plus adverb. Here is the contrary. We use the adjective or the adverb plus enough. But we can also use enough plus a noun. Let me show you. You are good enough. Can you see good? Good adjective plus enough. You are good enough to start a conversation in English. Now, what is the meaning? The meaning is, tú eres lo bastante bueno para comenzar una conversación. Here, I don't have enough yes, time. Yes, sir? Uh, enough is uh, practically uh, demasiado. No, oh. enough means the necessary amount. Okay, so enough means sufficient, sufficient. Sufficient. Uh -huh. But in negative, but in negative, and not enough means no lo suficiente. Okay, okay? I understand. Okay, let's see the example. You are good enough. Tú eres suficientemente bueno. So, the necessary amount. I don't have enough time. No tengo suficiente tiempo. And you see time is a noun. So, I use enough plus noun. But if you use adjective or an adverb, you have to place the adjective or adverb before enough. Okay, so this might be tricky, but you got to pay attention. Okay, you are here often enough. You see, often is an adverb. Usted está aquí lo suficientemente a menudo. So you might as well live here. Entonces, sería bueno que viviera aquí. Okay? Now, don't worry. While we are practicing... We are going to use these formulas. Okay, let's see. Number one, let's do number one, number two, and number three together. Together, okay? What is number one? There were? Two. Too many questions. Uh-huh, there were, but complete, complete the sentence, please. There were? Too many questions to answer, many so many I answer, only did so three. Uh-huh. Hubieron? Demasiadas. Remember that we say that two means more than necessary, right? So I only did three. Very good. Now let's do number two. The coffee it was too hot to drink, so I felt it for a minute to cool. Exactly. The coffee was too hot to drink, so mm -hmm. I left it for a minute to cool. Para que se enfriara. Very good. Now, number three. The room wasn't hot enough. Aha, uh -huh. the room wasn't hot enough. Hot enough. So, so I turned, turned the heat on. on. Now, let me explain this. El, la habitación no estaba lo suficientemente caliente. No es que estaba demasiado caliente. No estaba lo suficientemente caliente. So, so, I turned the heating on. Así que mm -hmm. encendí el calentador. Okay? Now, let's, let's try to do them. Uh, Irving. Let's begin with Irving. I didn't... I didn't buy the jacket because it was uh, too big. Because it was too big, porque era muy demasiado grande. 
Okay, Brenda, number five. The shoes were... The shoes were small now? No. So I... No. No, because when you say small enough, fueron lo suficientemente pequeños. So, ah, okay. Divided. Uh -huh. uh, go ahead, complete the sentence, Brenda. The shoes were too big, so I didn't buy them. Uh -huh. The shoes were too big, so I didn't buy them. Okay, very good. Now, uh, Cindy, number six. It's far too big to fit inside the box. Exactly. It's far. Es uh, bien, pero bien demasiado grande para que quepa en esa bolsa. So, excellent. Very good, Cindy. Carla, number seven. Number seven. It was far too heavy to pick up. Ajá, estaba uh, demasiado pesada to pick up para levantarla. Very good. Okay, now, Lily de Escalante, number eight. I didn't get it because it was too expensive. Exactly, I didn't get it because it was too expensive. Okay, very good. Linda, Tabora, number nine. Okay. I haven't got uh, enough time to take a holiday this year. Exactly. I haven't got enough time, sufficient tiempo to take a holiday this year. Very good, Linda. Okay, Maria Hernandez, number 10. Uh, it was uh, heavy enough to carry. Mm, maybe that makes sense. Era lo suficientemente pesado para llevarlo. But probably they want to say that it was too heavy to carry. Okay, but both are possible. Era lo suficientemente pesado para llevarlo. It, it makes sense. Or it was too heavy to carry. Era demasiado pesado para llevarlo. So both are possible. Okay, Ivan Herrera, number 11. There wasn't enough room for everybody to get in. There wasn't enough room for everybody to get in. Excellent. Number 12. Let me go back to Tatiana. Number 12. Uh, he didn't do enough work to pass the exam. He didn't do enough work to pass the exam. Excellent. Lily, 13. There wasn't too much time to finish, so I didn't manage to. So I didn't manage to. So here, probably, we have to use, remember, this is negative. So we have to use enough, remember? Remember that we say not plus enough. So Usually, negatives goes with enough, usually. Mm -hmm. So again, again, uh, there wasn't enough time to finish, so I didn't manage to. So I didn't, I didn't manage to. Okay, 14, Guadalupe. She can sleep because she drinks too much coffee. Exactly, too much coffee. Uh, Lily Descalante. Uh, I didn't know him. 
good enough, but I was still upset when he died. Uh huh. I didn't know him too well. I didn't but I was still upset when he died. No lo conocía demasiado bien. But both, both are possible. Both yes. are possible. Good enough could be. Yeah, good enough could be too. Okay. 16, eh, Maria Hernandez. I left the job because I was making too few money. No, remember money goes with Remember, few is for countable nouns and little for non-count nouns. So I left the job again. Too little money. I left the job because I was making too little money. Too little money. Okay, so little is for non-count nouns and few for counts now. Now we're gonna see that later. Let me see. Yeah, I have it right here. Don't worry. Okay, so maybe we hurry up. Choose the correct answer. Number one, uh, Eleonora. It is was expensive and now so we didn't get it. No, because if we, they say expensive enough, es que era lo suficientemente caro. Yeah. Si era lo suficientemente caro, lo íbamos a comprar. It was too expensive. Uh -huh. It was too expensive. Too expensive. Too expensive. Demasiado caro. So we didn't get it. Very good. Number two, Maria Reyes. It's, it's too difficult to read. I don't understand it at all. Okay, very good. So look, all these exercises, the rest, I want you to do them for homework, okay? And okay. we check them tomorrow, okay? Okay. Now, Thank you. Let's see, too much and too many. Too much plus uncountable nouns. Like last winter, last winter there was too much snow. And too many for plural count nouns. There are too many dogs in town. And look, it has to be with a plural count noun, not with a singular count noun, with a plural count noun. Okay, let's see. What is number one? Cindy. It's uh, Jack always gives too much bad advice. You shouldn't trust him. Uh -huh. Jack always gives too much bad advice because he's uncountable. Very good, Cindy. Carla Rodriguez, number two. Crowded means very full, very full. Tokyo is very crowded. Crowded? There are just two many people too many people okay demasiada gente okay very good antonio number three some people have too much money and too much time what do they do with with with, with, all? with all okay now very good antonio number four tatiana venus Okay, and Venus is summer has to many tourists that visit each, each year. That is correct. Venus in summer has too many tourists that visit each year. Very good. The next one is Lily de Escalante, number five. My city has too many traffic tourists. Traffic, it, wait, wait, Lily. Traffic is countable or non-count? Countable. No, can you count the traffic? No. No, right? So you have to use? Much. So again, please. 
My city has too much traffic during rush hour. Do you understand what is rush hour? No. Rush hour son las horas pico. Like five o'clock in the afternoon or seven or 7.30 in the morning is rush hour, traffic rush hour. Okay. Number six, eh, Guadalupe Cruz. There are just too many cars on the road. There are just too many cars on the road. Very good. Maria Hernandez, number seven. In my opinion, Window Vista had too many problems. I prefer Window 7. Very good. Excellent. Maria Ivan Herrera, number eight. Parts of Africa have too much heat and sunshine, especially in summer. Okay, heat is Excuse no count down, so very good. It, too much heat, very good. Number nine. Uh... Teacher. Okay, number nine, Tatiana. Wait, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute, Tatiana. I just want to see something. Okay, very good. Okay, go ahead. Number nine. Okay, I am I am so busy. I have too many things to do today. Very good. I am so busy. I have too many things to do today. Uh, Lily de Escalante, number 10. My friend Lily is addicted to, to is many addicted video to games. Two. Is to addicted two. to two. To two many video games. Uh -huh. you play for our something. Sometimes. Sometimes. Okay. Sometimes my friend Lily is addicted to too many video games. She can play for hours. Okay, now choose too, too much, too many, enough to complete the sentences below. Okay, let's see. Guadalupe, number one. There is too much smoke in here. I can't breathe. I can't breathe. Excellent. Very good. Maria Hernandez, do number two. Do you know what is the meaning of earn? I don't um, no. I don't earn. Money. For example. I don't earn enough, enough, enough to buy the car. Uh-huh, I don't earn enough to no. buy the car. Okay, the car. very good. The next one, uh, Eleonora. My manager said that I play too much <laughs> to win the competition. My manager says that I play too much to win the competition. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. Number four, Ivan. Yes, it says, I know I talk too much, I should talk less. I know I talk too much, I should talk less. Very good. The next one. Irving? The five, right? Yeah, number five. Uh, I don't think the door is uh, so many. Okay, maybe. Enough. Yeah, but I here we need an is... adjective. Okay, I don't think okay. the door is. Is big enough? If big enough, it's that is correct. Enough. Is big enough? Is big enough? Okay, excellent. That is correct. Okay, number six. Brenda. 
Too much money can be bad for football. Players who, who are still in their 20s. Okay, very good. Now, number seven is Cindy. I, let me see, number seven, right? Yeah, number seven. I ate too many cakes and I felt six later. Okay. Six later. Okay, later, later. Later. And later. I ate too many cakes. Pronunciation, cakes. No cakes. I ate okay. too many cakes and felt sick later. Very good. Okay. Uh, who is next? Mario Marenko. Number number eight. I, I can't drink this meal. It's too hot. It's too hot. Uh, Antonio. Number nine. Sorry. I think I have eat, eaten too much. I don't feel very well. I think I've eaten too much. I don't feel very well. Very good. Number 10. Can, I, can we use enough? I think I eat. No, because you see, I don't feel very well. So that means that I ate more, more too than much. necessary, right? Too much. Okay, thank right? you. Okay, number 10, Carla. There weren't, they were, there weren't two, okay, they weren't. Okay, maybe in many, this one, we need something. There weren't. There weren't too, too many play at match. So everybody. Play a match. So, so everybody. Uh -huh. They weren't players. We're going to put here players. Okay. So they weren't. They weren't. Enough players. Enough. Exactly. Enough players. To play ma a match. So everybody went. Uh -huh. To play a match. So everybody went home. Now. Also. That is, we can also use less for non-count nouns and fewer for count nouns. Use fewer when describing plural or countable nouns. Example, now consider this correct example of the word fewer. Fewer than 10 people bought tickets. Okay, pocos o más pocos de 10 personas Compraron tickets to the show. So it was canceled. I want fewer gifts for my birthday. Yo quiero más pocos regalos. Okay, in, in, in Spanish, we don't say más poco. We say menos regalos. But Algunos. I don't want you that you confuse. Less means menos. But this is for non-count nouns. And this is for count nouns. Okay, so both means menos. There are fewer puppies in the pen than last time. Hay menos cachorros que la última vez. So in each center above, the word fewer describe a plural or countable noun. Okay, there are fewer people here than last time. Hay menos gente que la vez pasada. You should buy fewer gifts. Debes comprar menos regalos. Okay, now you can use fewer with time. You can use, for example, look, I will, it will be nice to spend fewer minutes. So you can use it with time, but with units of time that you can count. Fewer hours, minutes and hours you can count with percentages, for example, Fewer than 5% of people like spam. Menos del 5% de la gente like spam. There are fewer than 7% of people wearing red. F 
fewer than 10%. So you can use it with percentage, but talking about countable. That you see people, people are peaches, okay? And you use less with uncountable nouns. For example, you should add less sugar. So sugar is uncountable. You need to drink less coffee. There is less meal. You should add less oil, okay? And then for money, she completed her internship in less, uh, for time, this is for time and money, in less than three years, okay? In less than four years, she'll be back home. She made less than $10, okay? So let's do a couple of exercises and tomorrow we will check this exercise. So choose the correct answer, fewer or less. Water has fewer less. or less calories than milk. Less. 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 No, because can you count the calories? Can you count the calories? So water has fewer calories than milk has. We are now, talking the about the calories. The doctor advised the kid to eat. Now, sweets less. son cosa less. dulce. So this is non-count noun. So the doctor advised the kid to eat less, less, less sweets and drink. And drink soda. Oh, there is missing here something. And drink less soda to lose weight. Okay, now the next one. There are Fewer. fewer. Okay, complete, complete, please. There are fewer cars on the road in this beautiful town. And there are fewer cars on the road in this small town. Number four. Less exercises. No, no less. Fewer. Exercises fewer. in plural, so you can count okay. them. Again? Fewer. Okay. He did fewer. Uh-huh. And remember, when you say fewer, is fewer, no fewer. Okay? It doesn't take a plural. Next. She has much, has much, much less patience than her husband. Exactly. Much less patience than her husband. Number six. I have less money to spend on buying clothes than my sister has. Okay, very good. So we are going to stop right here, guys. Now, look, finish these exercises, and tomorrow we'll check quickly. And I already sent you a, a link. In the link is the explanation of indirect questions. I am preparing a lot of exercises to make indirect questions tomorrow night. Okay, so okay. go ahead and if you can finish section one, please, and start section two. Okay, okay thank, thank you teacher. very much for oh, this wonderful you. class. See you, you tomorrow teacher. night. Okay. okay. Thank you. Okay. 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 Good night. Good night and see you tomorrow. Good night. See you tomorrow, teacher. Okay. Good night. Good night. Good night, teacher. Thank you. Good night.